colloquial There's expression. breaking news now on Fox News Channel. The sentence is in. Felicity Huffman will send, spend 14 days in prison. 14 days in prison is the sentence for paying $15,000 to have the, t the SAT scores changed for her daughter who was trying to get into college. As she has now admitted, she did it. The question was, what would the punishment be? The government asked for 30 days in prison. The defense said, we believe that the, the punishment has already been enough. We want probation and nothing more. Along the way, Felicity Huffman went to great lengths to apologize for what she had done, paying for the changing of the SAT scores, saying that she realized the error of her ways, didn't do the same for her second child, saying her, her child, uh, Sophia, is, no longer, is not even going to college now, that her life is in the shambles as a result of all of this, and that what has happened already is enough. Sentence me to probation. Well, the judge decided otherwise. And Judge Napolitano, this is not a sentence of 14 days in the county jail. This is a sentence of 14 days in prison. Felicity Huffman is going to prison. She'll be uh, incarcerated for about 10 or 11 days, depending upon the time of day she gets there and the time of day she leaves, because you serve 85% uh, percent of your time uh, in the federal system. I don't know where they'll send her. Quite frankly, Chef, I mean, I'm not making light of this. I have never heard of a federal sentence this low. It is so low, they may very well keep her in the lockup in Boston, which is adjacent to the court, the federal courthouse, rather than going through the expense of getting her out and, and getting her settled in a, in a long-term facility. Judge? Now the question is, does she want to do this now and start it tonight, or does she want to do it at another time that's more convenient for her? Believe it or not, she has that option. Judge, right? stay with me. We'll go to the courthouse in just a moment. First, Alex Little. He's a criminal defense attorney, former pre federal prosecutor, who was with us earlier and thought this would probably go to probation. Alex, your thoughts? Yeah, I, I got to agree with the judge. This is a very low sentence. You almost never hear of weeks or days sentences in federal court. This is as close to probation as you can get. She's going to have to be detained in some sort of um, sort of alternate facility. The BOP, the Bureau of Prisons, doesn't generally deal with people who serve with less than 30-day sentences. Um, so, you know, I think when you went through the factors, I read some of them as they were coming through what the judge talked about. She did talk about this idea of general deterrence. You have to try to deter other people from committing this crime. And I think that's why she thought a straight probation sentence just wasn't sufficient. She needed to send the signal clearly that, yes, this is cheating. It may be, you know, not the greatest form of cheating, but it's cheating. And you need to pay a punishment that is more visceral than just going on probation. Got a little bit more now, Alex. The full sentence. 14 days imprisonment, a $30,000 fine, supervised probation, and 250 hours of community service. Yeah, and I think if you're Felicity Huffman, I mean, the community service, you should be doing whether or not you get sentenced to it or not. She clearly needs to make amends to the community for what she's done. And I think to show that she's learned her lesson, her, her letter to the judge, the speech she gave clearly shows remorse. Um, but I think that sentence is probably in line with what she did.